Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Passionate Kelsey and welcome to this very passionate vlog. <laughs> right now we are about to leave the house and I am going to drop off all of these packages that I had uh, from our last vlog. There's not a ton, but you know, might as well take them to the post office. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna continue working on orders, of course that is what I do. So, let's head out. It is literally so much later. I just spent like most of my day editing because I'm a YouTuber. Surprise, I know. But I'm back now. I finished all my work. Now we can continue our other work, which First of all, is going to be finishing this bag for our order that is currently on the agenda. And all I need to do to finish it is one more row of single crochet around all of the edges for the straps. So I'm gonna do that. And pack it up after this, I guess. All right, all right, check it out. Our bag is done and tagged. It's looking beautiful. I already have a photo of a finished bag in the hippie color, so I can go ahead and pack this up right now for Clara. This is my favorite color for the bags because it is just like, it's very ocean and I just, I love it. There we go. We are not done for the night. I'm going to make a scrunchie order and that is for Jennifer. Jennifer ordered two scrunchies. One is in the color electric violet, which I have right here. And then the other one is in the color fire. So we need to make that one. That's good because I have so much fire. I'm hoping that this skein will just make one scrunchie and that I won't need this second one, but I'm just grabbing it just in case. Okay, done. I've got both scrunchies here for the order, one in fire and one in electric violet. I'm gonna pack these up. Done with that. Next, I'm gonna make another scrunchie order for Erin. And for that one, we need one velvet scrunchie in the color safety yellow, which I need to make. And I have the yarn right here, even though it is looking, um, pretty poor but next we need one scrunchie in the color watercress and sparkly which I have right here in my basket so let's make one safety yellow there we go all finished and ready to pack for Erin Okay, that is all done. It is now becoming too late, so this is where I'm gonna call it tonight. I'm gonna go away and we will continue making orders tomorrow. Hello guys, welcome back. Even though that was like two seconds ago, we will keep making orders today, of course. The first order on our list is for Claire and that includes two scrunchies and one custom mesh bag. The custom mesh bag is in the color solid blue jeans, which is the one that I thought was like a little weird and a little thin. So I'm gonna make this bag. I have decided to take that color off of my website options completely so that nobody else can order it again. But yeah, we're gonna make this bag and see how it turns out. I'm assuming it's going to be maybe not much smaller, but like definitely smaller at least and a little bit more flimsy than uh, the other bags. Not flimsy as in it's gonna break, <laughs> I just I want to clarify here. It's going to be like um, more bendy, you know? Lily Sugar and Cream is like a little bit stiff, but this one is not. Anyway, I'm going to start making that. And then uh, after that's finished, hopefully it'll go by pretty quick. Um, we need to make two scrunchies to go with the order so that we can pack it up. Um, okay, so I, I started this bag 
whenever I bought the yarn, I like I started it on the way home. I think I said that in another vlog. So I was like already a few rows in and I worked on it a little bit last night before I went to sleep. But anyway, it's it's going. And I will say that so far it is definitely looking um, smaller than the normal bags. I feel like I should count my rows because I uh, I don't really count my rows until I feel like I'm like, oh, it's like, it's kind of, it's almost big enough, you know? And I do 35 rows and every time I usually count, it's I'm, I'm at about like 30. So I'm like, okay, I need to do five more. But this one, I don't really know how big it's gonna be once I get around 35 rows, so. I should probably count. Today, Caesar is very excited because the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 beta comes out today and he really wants to play together. So I have that downloading on my computer and we're gonna play some rounds together. Thankfully, um, it's quite easy to crochet in between rounds while you're playing Call of Duty. We played the last game together whatever the last one was, maybe Modern Warfare 3 or something like that. But he's always played Call of Duty. He's always been a fan, but we just started playing together, kind of, on the last game. And it's just funny because I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad. Literally, as soon as I got a PC, he was like, so now that you have a PC in your room, we can play Call of Duty together, not split screen. And I was like, okay. It's like one third of the way downloaded and it's taking a long time. So, and then after that, we're gonna have to set it up and whatnot. So I am just gonna try to get as much of this done as I can. I'll continue working on it while I play a few games with Caesar. And I am gonna count my rows. Yes. This morning, whenever I started the vlog, I was upset about my bangs because I thought that they looked bad. So, um, I went and I uh, I gave them a trim and then I used some of Caesar's hair pomade and I re-wet them and then I dried them again and now they look great, so <laughs> just know that I'm happy about that. They keep splitting, okay? They keep splitting. No! I think this is going pretty well. <laughs> lost alpha. Oh, I swam! Yeah, I fell into the pool and I'll swim in. I'll swim in. I wanna swim. Ooh. No! No! Do you guys see me in the pool down there? We played Call of Duty for about an hour. I died um, a lot of times. <laughs> I got in, oh, maybe like two, maybe three more rows on this in between matches. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna take a break, make myself some lunch, and then I got an email that a Joann's package was delivered, so I need to go check my mailbox, and I want to get this done, power through it, get it out. Although, making the bag doesn't actually take a very long time it's the straps that take forever so we'll just see how uh, quickly i can power through the straps also usually at this point i would have had to tie on my second skein of yarn but this one is still going strong and i think that's because there's actually more yardage in these because like i said the yarn is thinner so i'm pretty sure that they just wind it up until it weighs four ounces and it still says 190 yards on the yardage just like all the other ones do but um I definitely think this is longer because it's a bit thinner. For lunch, I made myself a big tray of tater tots. Just kidding, I wanna eat something else, something healthy other than that, okay. Oh, I did too many rows. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna leave it because I usually do 35 rows, but I did 37 on accident. But like I said, I think it's gonna be a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna leave the two extra rows in so I don't have to frog and so it is slightly bigger. Now uh, onto the straps portion. I've officially run through the first skein of yarn and uh, I'm just now doing the first row of the straps. Tying on this bad boy. Not knowing how to go forward with this. I'm not totally- I hate this. Uh, I hate this. Hate this. But the bag should be done today for sure, I think. Yeah, it's still daylight. 
All right, I'm actually gonna have to finish this bag on the go because we are traveling to Caesar's sister's birthday party. Let's go. Birthday. We are home. That was a long party. It's late now. I did not finish this. I got like a good amount done, two rows in, in the car, but I didn't bring it inside the party because there were lots of people there and that's scary and embarrassing. So I'm gonna finish this now. I think I can definitely finish it before I go to bed. And if I do finish it at a reasonable time, maybe I can make the two scrunchies that go with it, which I would love to remind myself is one in regal blue and one in frothy fawn. So I'm going to uh, get to work. I am gonna watch a YouTube video from Stitched by Emma and uh, she asked ChatGBT to recreate one of her crochet patterns and then she crochets it and I just, I really, I need to see how this turns out. It's, it's, it sounds very interesting. So I'm gonna be doing that. It's gonna turn out so bad. It's gonna turn out bad beyond your wildest dreams. It's finished. Okay, I officially finished the denim bag. Honestly, I think it looks really nice. It's definitely a lot more floppy, a lot more flexible than the regular Lily Sugar and Cream ones that we've been making. Um, the size isn't bad though. It definitely, you know, it's got the stretch factor and the mesh part, but I did add two extra rows of mesh, but like it was only two, it's nothing crazy. But anyway, I finished this and it's not even 10 p.m. yet, so we can definitely make some scrunchies tonight. Looking in my scrunchie basket, it appears I already have one of the scrunchies that we need to make, which is a regal blue. So I only need to make one for this order that goes with our little baggie here, and that is the color Frothy Fawn. Uh, oh, here it is on my desk. It exploded partially, but we'll make it into a scrunchie. That's done. So that completes everything that we need for that order. I am not gonna pack it because I need to remind myself to take a video of that finished bag in the morning for a TikTok. Don't worry about it. But yeah, so that order is all done. The next thing on the list is another mesh market bag. And this one is in the color Moon Dance, which we like, we pretty much just made one. No, that was Hippie. Hippie and Moon Dance are so similar to each other. One of them just has purple in it and the other one doesn't. Look at this. This is Hippie. This is Moon Dance. Literally, this one just has purple. But other than that, it is white and blue. Yeah, anyway, we need to make a bag in Moon Dance. So obviously I will not make a whole bag tonight. I'm just gonna get it started so that it can be finished off tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can tonight, of course, but yeah, don't expect to finish bag. I only have two skeins of moon dance so i'm pretty sure that these will make a whole bag but if there's any other moon dance orders on here we may have to make a little trip to joanne actually let me just see if they're in stock at my store right now or not hello <sighs> i literally hate the fact that there is two different listings for lily sugar and cream supersize on the joanne's website and one of them it's supposed to be the solids one, but it has pretty much every color on there. And then there's another one that is the ombres color and it's supposed to be all of the, you know, multicolor ones, but they're just, they're just all mixed. Like the ombres listing only has eight colors of the multicolor yarns. And then all of the other multicolors are just in the solid listing. It just makes no sense, you know? Either have them split into solids or multicolors, or just have them all in the same split, in the same, in the same place. It's late. Anyway, it looks like Moon Dance is not in stock at my local Joanne, so I will have to order it from the Joanne website. And I know for a fact that this bag is going to use up both of these, and I really like the color Moon Dance, so I'm just going to go ahead and like add about four of them to my cart. Although right now they're not on sale, so I'm not gonna check out because they should definitely be going on sale sometime soon. All right. Mm. Mm. A little treat for you.
Okay guys, this is where I'm gonna call it for the night. I would say this is pretty good progress. Yes, hmm? So, yeah, that's all. We will finish this tomorrow. Hello, good morning, hello. I need to finish this today, which is the bag that we started last night, but that's gonna take a minute and it is just not calling my name right now. Oh, you know what? Okay, I just looked over there and I have packages from Joanne. So we're gonna open those and find out what's in them, but that will also be a, a good chance to find some yarns for some scrunchies that I need to make for orders that I don't have yet, but I'm pretty sure is in this box. So yeah, I got two packages. I got this little guy and I got another big box just like ugh, we had in our last video, but this one is a lot more heavy. So I think that this may be full this time. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the little one. That's pretty easy. Here we go. Now you may be thinking, you just opened that color in the last video, in the box with the uh, angel pearl situation. But no, this is another one of those examples of colors of Juice Couture yarn that are just so close they could uh, might as well be the same thing, you know? So the last one that we opened was Soft Glow Sparkly and this one is Pink Diamond Sparkly. So they are different. But anyway, I got three skeins of that. Light pink sparkly. Yes, yes. Um, I do have an order for this specific color, so I'm glad that it's here. We'll use that, so I'll just set this one, this one that's falling apart the most on my desk, and we'll use that up. And now, here we go, onto this big box. I wish that this was my whole order, because, you know, I've received one box, two box, and one package, but I still think that there's more coming, even though it was all in the same order. I understand that Joanne ships their orders from the stores and not from the warehouses so it goes to the first store and then they ship everything that they have whatever's left over gets sent to the second store and they ship whatever they have and then so on and so forth i understand how it works it's just it's it's still annoying though you know i wonder where the joanne warehouses are and what prevents them from shipping orders especially orders that are large like most of the time whenever I order, it's at least $200, and that's with sales and coupons. First, we're actually starting with a solid color because Juicy Couture recently added, like, I don't know, like five or six new colors to the solid section. They were already in the sparkly section, but they weren't in the solids until, like, recently, pretty much right whenever I placed this order. So I bought this which is the color Dark Crimson. I bought five of them because I just love this color so much. I loved it whenever I received it in the sparkly and I just needed it in the solid as well. So here it is. I got five of them. This will make 20 scrunchies. So I am excited about that. Next, I ordered three Tint of Mint, which I already have solid colors of. So these are the sparkly ones. These came with no plastic sleeve, and I am impressed that they are in very good condition. I mean, there's some danglies, but that's to be expected. Tint of Mint is a classic. It's one of the first colors that I purchased in this yarn, so there we go. Finally have some with sparkles in it. Next is a brand new color that I have never seen before, and it is called Brown Sugar. Um, it's pretty much just that. It's brown velvet with sparkles in it, and I know for a fact that I have an order for a scrunchie in this color, so I am very happy that it is here. Now, I have three carbon gray with sparkles in it. Very nice, very gray, very sparkly. Another classic color here is Coral Haze, and this one is sparkly as well. Looking good, three of those. Last but not least, once again, Juicy Couture has made a light pink color. This is not pink diamond or soft glow. This is another one. It's a third option. This one is called hot, hot pink. Double hot, very pink. And it has sparkles in it. I mean, as you can tell, this one is a little bit more leaning towards a hot pink, which is why it's called hot, hot pink. 
here we have them all. I will agree that they are all different. They are all different shades, noticeably different shades. Here are the three light pinks from Juicy Couture and these are all sparkly. They also come in the solid colors, but uh, this order just has the sparkly ones. They are quite close as you can see, but they are different. Here we have pink diamond. In the middle we have soft glow and then this one is the new hot hot pink do you have a favorite do you think having three colors that are this close is necessary is fun <laughs> but the problem is let's say i make all of these into the scrunchies and then i throw away the little label and i don't have any more skeins to refer to and then i just have the scrunchies sitting back here in my little basket with no labels on them i'm not going to be able to tell which one of them they are unless i use them more often and i get more acquainted with the colors because i have like only just begun ordering these colors because they're like relatively new to me and also just to the website in general. Like let's say if it were Lily Sugar and Cream, like I know my Lily Sugar and Cream colors cause I've been using that yarn for years and years and years. But for these, like at first glance, I couldn't tell you, couldn't tell you, you know? Somebody asked why I have been making my scrunchies one by one instead of making like the whole skein at once and just putting that in my basket for future orders. And there is multiple reasons. I can think of two right now. The first reason is that I am just trying to get my orders done as fast as possible. And let's say I make the entire skein of scrunchies. Like, yes, it'll be good for future me, but for right now I have 31 orders and I wanna get through those as fast as possible. So I'm trying not to waste time by making items that I don't need at the moment. And then the second reason would be because I am not yet super familiar with the wide array of Juicy Couture colors. So I would prefer to keep it in the skein where it has the color name on it so that I don't get confused unless it is a very specific and easy to tell color like black or tint of mint because there is nothing that's close to this but I mean, I have been making extras here and there. Like if I go to make a scrunchie and the skein is very low and I know that it'll only make like two more scrunchies, then I will make the one that I need plus the extra one and then the extra one goes in the basket. But yeah, that's basically it. Trying not to waste time as well as I am not totally sure on the colors yet. So sometimes whenever I pull a scrunchie out of this basket to go for an order, like in the vlog, you see me pull it out and I'm like, yep, here I have one watercress. But in reality, I I looked at it and then I double checked on the Joann's website where they have all of the colors and the photos and stuff. And I was like, okay, this one is for sure watercress. I'm double checking the colors because I'm not totally sure on all of them yet. Anyway, that is all the yarn that I got. Honestly, it's a pretty good haul for today. Of course, we have these two that I set aside on my desk for later for making. And then this box is all full of brand new yarns. So there's that. I don't want to, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Please don't berate me in the comments telling me to stop buying yarn. Um, I do plan on going on a yarn buying ban, but I'm going to start that in January. So just give me the last few months of this year to bask in the glory of fresh new yarn. Okay. Okay, let me have fun for a little bit. Okay, now that that's done, I am going to make a few scrunchie orders. The first scrunchie order that I wanna make is for Jamie and it is one pink diamond sparkly scrunchie, which we just received in the mail. How convenient is that? I literally hate this. I literally hate the way this looks. Look at it, that is actually ridiculous. Anyway, and then the second scrunchie that they ordered is one in the color safety yellow which I've got right here. So I'm off to make these two scrunchies. Where is the middle though? Like, does it exist? Jeez. Found it. Found it, found it. 
Alrighty guys, these two are done and they conveniently go very well with the shirt choice of today. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack this order up and also we can pack up our order that we finished last night, this denim bag and the two scrunchies that go with it. So, yeah. Okay guys, that is actually all we're gonna be doing today because I have plans tonight, which you will see in the next vlog. And yeah, so I'm gonna call it a day. Unfortunately, we didn't get to finish this. Um, how sad, but uh, we'll finish it in the next vlog, of course. Maybe I'll bring it with me tonight on my travels as well, get some done in the car, I don't know. But that's all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. We got some orders done. We got some new yarn, you know, all that fun stuff. If you did like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. That would be super awesome of you. And I would just love that so much. I will hopefully see you guys in the next vlog. So bye.